great satisfaction that you, part of the uh, way that you reached it was being a member of the club, and we thank you. Seeing such a large group of positive-minded thinking individuals in one place, is, it's a great sight. It's a great thing to look at, and it's rare to find. I think that all of the contestants were incredibly dynamic. Um, I think that, you know, if they could all be youth of the year, that would be incredible. Um, but there can only be one, and um, I'm just excited to be a part of the opportunity to, you know, judge incredible young men. The first thing I have to say is I'm thoroughly impressed, awestruck by these young men. That they are one contradiction to all of the negative stereotypes of young black men. Whatever Madison Boys and Girls Club is doing, it needs to be replicated and it really needs to just be projected across the entire city, if not the entire country. We have so many young black men doing positive things, and it needs to be supported, it needs to be nurtured, and it needs to really just be out there. This was an amazing experience for me, and I want to just thank Master Boys and Girls for having allowed me to be a part of it. I thought there were five great candidates. Um, each, each young man did a, a wonderful job. It was really a tough decision because each person had a great story. It was really hard to pick from all five. So we enjoyed meeting the five young men. We wish them the best of luck in the future. And as uh, some of my colleagues said, we think they're all going to be very successful. I really want to thank you for your time, Edward and Angie, for being a part of the program. Uh, and, uh... This is a, the men of Murphy. This is a powerful message. It's not so much a picture, or it's beyond a picture, but it's a message to all our youth, especially our young men. The expressions from each one of these children, and I say young men, say so much right now. And I believe what they have to offer to themselves and to the other children, youth, and I'm talking about all the groups here, explorers, intermediates, Juniors, this is the beginning of a larger future. And I want this to continue, not just in Murphy and all the clubs, ambassadors. That's letting them know that they are somebody, they will be somebody, and they will succeed. So I salute my boys, the men of Murphy. I salute them. I salute them. Here we go. Well, I'm Roddy Wunnellis, I'm the Leadership Development Director here, and um, one of my duties is to prepare these young men um, for the youth of the year process. And having been that individual day in, day I did see greatness, I honestly did. I didn't know about myself, I found out the youth of the year. It was a journey though. It was just a fun experience, I thought we were fun. It was challenging, but I learned a lot about myself and I learned a lot just from doing this and I learned how to take responsibility for what I do. Um, so it was a learning experience and it was fun. Um, I have to say that I learned a lot about the outside world. I learned a lot about the big world. I mean, when I go out for interviews, for college, for jobs, for other different sort of things, I know I'm not going to get everything, but at least I try my hardest. And I know if I try my hardest, I'm going to make it somewhere in life. So that's what I got for you. Nice. Nice to see you. Very good. Very good.